What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to edit videos using Final Cut Pro and a breakthrough software. If you're like me, you'll find that the most tedious part about creating videos is actually editing silences and cutting out all the necessary parts, which is really time consuming. So for years I've been looking for ways to accelerate this process until I found this software. And since I started using it, my time spent editing videos has been reduced by five times because it literally edits my videos automatically. Now I can do a lot more with my time or edit more videos. So I'm going to start by showing you how the software works and then I'm going to show you how to get it for 20% cheaper. So let's jump to my computer and let's dive right in. So guys, when we open Time Bolt, this is what we see, right? The first thing we're going to look at is settings. And here you've got some audio pre-processing features for better silence detection. It doesn't affect the output. But now I'm going to leave these alone because I try and set everything up correctly right out of the box. I leave this one checked, automatically detect filter value in decibels this basically allows for automatic silence detection and you can adjust it if you want later on which i'm going to show you how i'm going to click done over here we've got some keyboard shortcuts if you want to speed up your workflow you can even do screen recording with this software which is really good over here you've got your render queue so anything that is queued up you'll find it right here and when you click on here you can go to the help section they've got many blogs they've got videos so you've got that support that you need and over here you've got the light and dark mode as you can see but now what we're going to do is we're going to start with any unedited video and i'm going to show you the workflow so i'm going to import this video right here which is my introduction as you can see it doesn't take too long and it's done what i really like about it is that you can edit in four times the speed or half the speed this gives you lots of options to edit your video or audio in the most convenient way for you so as you can see it cut the silences automatically so this part in red is cut i'm going to expand the timeline like so and i can see all the cuts as you can see it's done automatically so i'm going to increase the speed a little bit and i'm going to play what's up guys in this video i'm going to show you how to edit videos using final cut pro and a breakthrough software what's up guys in this video see i'm going to show you how to edit what's up guys in this video i'm going to show you how to edit videos using final cut pro and a special what's up guys in this do you know what i mean it cut all of these parts that we don't really need and then if i don't want this part i simply click on here and edit it out click on here edit it out so for example we want to edit this part out so we create a split like so for example and then from here to here another split and click right here and it applies the cut that simple guys so this is how it sounds what's up guys i'm gonna show you how to edit do you know what i mean it's that simple simply you can go ahead and keep applying the cuts and you can literally do it throughout the whole video now if you want to be really granular with your settings you can filter below the sound level in decibels so you can do minus 47 for example minus 48 and you need to monitor how this looks like on the timeline because what you change right here is going to affect how the silences are cut for now i'm going to leave it at 46 and i like to keep these settings as they are remove silences longer than 0.2 seconds and i ignore detection shorter than 0.15 seconds reason being is because towards the end of a sentence you might lower your voice and we don't want that to be cut the left padding and the right padding are really important so that we don't cut too abruptly so this left padding is for this part right here so we don't cut too late we want to cut just before the word starts and this right padding at 0.15 seconds so that we don't cut too soon right here for example if we do 0.1 seconds and then we're going to click update silence detection what happens is that this part is going to be cut watch see that and if we do zero update see it's cut more and in other parts it will literally eat the words we don't want that for example right here it's not complete right some parts are eaten we don't want that like so or videos see that that videos the s is not audible it just says video so that we can hear that s we're going to change this to 0.15 instead of zero update silence detection now it's gone back to normal more videos so I'm gonna see that we can hear videos but before it just goes video and then we've got fast forward silences if you're doing a tutorial and you're showing a particular process and you want to speed it up you can do fast forward silences so that the process shows quicker let's say we activate it we can tell the software to fast forward silences longer than five seconds or ten seconds or whatever so to target a particular silence that you want to fast forward you just find out how long it is and then put it here on the software you can also change your speed rate two times three times or four times you can also apply transitions they've got many transitions to choose from and you can choose the transition duration I 
a game changer guys so you can literally do your whole editing right from this software you can even add background music if you wanted to you can select your audio file and you will simply keep looping it at whatever volume you choose i like to do 10 percent rendering options this is where you can select where you'd like time bolt to output the rendered video for you and what i like to do guys is i like to export fcp xml so this is final cut pro xml and what it does is it takes all of this data and it imports it to my final cut pro x and i can tweak things right from there so again we've got two choices we can either edit from here and then export or we can tweak things from here then export final cut pro xml and then import it back into final cut pro and then edit from there tweak things until we're happy then we can export from final cut pro guys this also does multi-track editing it does multi-cam editing with the shift feature which i can discuss in another video if you'd like me to show you how to do multi-cam editing with this software automatically make sure you leave me a comment and let me know and when you export xml guys you can import it back into final cut pro add Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, Adobe Premiere has its own extension but for now I'm going to export Final Cut Pro XML. As you can see it's done, it's finished and it also shows you the frame rate of the video that you recorded with. When I click on it, it shows it right in the folder like so. So now I'm going to open Final Cut Pro and I'm going to finish the editing right there. So I've created a library for my video that I'm going to edit. So now what I need to do is import my XML file. This is the XML file that we just exported from Time Bolt. I'm going to double click on it and here it is and as you can see all the cuts have been applied now because we haven't selected the parts that we wanted to take out this is what we have to do now remember what I said to you we could have done it from time bolt but I choose to do it right here for more granular control and now we can go ahead and change any part make it longer make it shorter whatever cut it completely if we want to continue to weaken however you want and that's how it's done guys literally that simple and when you have finished editing just go ahead and export your video and that's it and that's it guys you've saved yourself at least five times the amount of time you'd have spent editing it manually so to get the 20 percent discount that i promised you guys you need to click on the link down below in the description and also enter the promo code addy20 which you can see right here and it's also down below in the description so once you've clicked on that link it will take you to this screen right here you go to pricing this is how much it costs You've got a basic version which has watermarks and it does only videos, it doesn't do audio and you can't export the XML which in my eyes is the most important feature but if you want to try it out you can simply get it now for free. But if you want the full featured software like I showed you, video and audio file editing, any duration of file and you can export with XML and export with plugin, this is the plan that you need. $17 a month, $97 a year and $247 for lifetime. Personally this is the one that I have. Why? Because it's buy it and forget it and it's an investment that I know I will never regret. If anything I wish I'd discovered this software sooner because it's such a time saver and a game changer from a video creation and video editing point of view. And you simply click on this option, you enter your details, you select the option that you want to go for and then you enter the coupon code ADDY20 like so and when we apply the discount as you can see you get a 20% discount. Now this VAT depends on where you live in the world so here in the UK we've got 20% VAT you can simply claim it back with your business expenses but in some parts of the world there's no VAT to be paid and then you enter your details and you complete the order and you can get going right away I hope you've enjoyed this video if you liked the content give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel leave your comments and hit the notification bell button so that you guys can get the videos as soon as I upload them thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one